Hi guys, welcome to this video series. I'm going to show you everything I think you need to know to get started with FL Studio. This series is meant for complete beginners, don't need any previous experience, you don't need any music knowledge, you just need a bit of time. I'm going to go through the process of creating a full track. We're going to be adding a beat, we'll have a bass, we'll have a melody, we're going to have a couple of sections in the song, an intro, a break, an outro. Now I'm only going to be using stuff that's included in the Airfall Studio installer. However, I'm going to be using Citrus. It's not included in the Fruity Edition. That shouldn't be a problem. I will be posting my version of the track at the start of each video. You can download it from the description. That means if you're using the trial version or if you're using Fruity Edition and you're unable to open projects you have saved, you can load my projects and you can pick it straight up where you left off. Throughout the video, I would suggest that you pause the video. You go into FL Studio and you try and replicate what it is I've done. Look at my notes if they're on the screen. Copy things, copy the settings, experiment as well. It's very important that you take the time to try things out on your own. You need to practice your skills. You're not here to watch me create a track. I already know how to do that. You're here to learn how to create your own track. And that's what you're going to do if you practice. Now, the entire series is about one and a half hours long. And I really don't expect you to go through the whole thing from start to finish. I'd suggest you watch a few videos, maybe watch the first three, then go spend some time in the software, experiment on your own, then come back, watch the next couple of videos. Now throughout the video, I'm going to be showing the shortcuts that I'm using on the screen. And I'll provide you with the list of the shortcuts that I've been using in the description as well. You really should learn the shortcuts to make your life an awful lot easier. It's much quicker than using the mouse. And you only need to learn a couple of shortcuts in each video. Once you've memorized them, which will happen when you practice on your own, you'll be working at full speed and it will be going really quickly. Before we get started, I want to show you just a couple of settings I suggest you make. It'll make your life a lot easier. And then we'll get straight on to making the first part of our track. All right? The most important thing is to make sure you've configured your audio settings properly. If you haven't done this yet, fire up FL Studio and open the audio settings. Select Options Audio Settings from the menu. In the Device drop down menu at the top, make sure you have selected an ASIO device, not a direct sound device. You won't have exactly the same entries here. If you have an audio interface with its own ASIO drivers, select that device. If you don't have an audio interface with its own ASIO drivers, select FL Studio ASIO. If you have problems hearing sound from FL Studio, open the ASIO control panel and make sure you have the right output selected. This will normally be Realtek for onboard sound chips. If you can't hear the video while FL Studio is open, try enabling auto close. This should free up your audio device for other software when FL Studio is inactive. Next, let's switch to the General tab. I would strongly recommend that you open the Advanced Settings and enable Don't Initialize Controls Automatically. If you don't do this, you might find that settings in your project automatically change when you play your track. I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want to turn this option on. It's one of the biggest sources of confusion with FL. But if you're curious, press F1 to read about this setting in the manual. And that's your first shortcut for this video. Remember it, it's the most important shortcut. Pretty much all the other settings in here are personal preference. Feel free to pause the video and compare my settings to yours and hit F1 if you want to know what a setting does. If my FL Studio is behaving slightly differently from yours, it might be because of some of the settings here. With that out of the way, we're ready to create our track and we'll do that in the next video. I'll see you there.